This is a demo video showing the hacks and modifications done to my Korg KR55, also known as Rhythm 55 here. And I've got it opened up right now. You can see I did some screw holes in the top just to make it easy to access certain ones of the uh, screws right there. So basically you put a tiny screwdriver in there, flathead, and you can twist it. So what we've got here is tuning for the low and high congas. Then we've got noise tuning. This one was a little bit not as precise, but you can kind of, because the noise circuit, it seems, is shared kind of among all these different drums right here, the hats, the cymbal, claves, and cowbell. So there's eight total, and you can see those if you go to the circuit board right there, those eight. You can see how the bottom are slightly offset. And that's how I drilled the holes. So that's the tuning modifications I did. Next up, we've got trigger inputs and outputs right here. Unfortunately, there was no, um, no space inside for me to put this many eighth inch jacks on there. And I also got a clock input. Um, so, Basically, we have doubles of each kick, kick, cowbell, cowbell, clave, clave, etc., etc. Open hat, closed hat. Uh, this one says Tom and Conga, hi Tom and Conga, for example. So, those to get access to those, I don't remember which ones. This has been a few years since I've done this, but some of them are on these blue cables right here, coming from the very rear of the circuit board. You can see that's labeled as H2, I think, looks like. And then the other ones, you can see I interrupted, all the green cables are mine going into my little breakout box. So I interrupted the purple connector right there, right next to capacitor 91, right next to the rim shot, clave's volume pot. And then I also did individual audio outputs. So we can see kick, whoops, kick, snare, cymbal, hats, and tom and conga share the same kind of circuit. So um, good thing about those is that they're switched. So when you take the kick out, um, it removes it from the main master output on the rear. Uh, the clock... I totally forget where it was. Oh, yeah, what I did was for these audio outputs, um, you can see these orange wires right here. I basically lifted the legs of these resistors right here. If you look at the schematic, I'm pretty sure it's easily found on there. But you lift the legs of the resistor, unsolder on the other side, and then take it out of the resistor, right? there go to the switch jack and then return back to where the resistor was soldered to the good thing about that is that then you still have volume control with these knobs um i'm not gonna take it apart to check for the clock oh that's interesting i see okay ground i took from back here shared among all of them right next to that there's this little black cable right there and there's a little funny ground symbol um clock is i believe somewhere on the bottom anyway uh that's all my modifications nothing here to the preset programs patterns, um, really just the individual outs and then the trigger ins and outs and then drilling holes for the tuning of the various drums. Thanks for watching.